So today has not been the easiest day for us. We're fishing Wheeling Creek for the first time. Once again, no intel at all. We've never fished within probably, I would say 70 miles here before. The, the, the nearest place we fish from here will be Morgantown. Uh, and we just came up here to try to learn the creek for the first time. The problem is, normally in West Virginia, we can spot a golden and we know if we see a golden in the water, as we told you before, that just means there's brooks, browns, rainbows, other things that are there as well. Now, today, take a look, see this? The water is not clear. We cannot see even two feet below the surface. And some of these holes are super, super deep. So we're having to use a lot of different baits to be successful. Now, Big Mike has just switched over to one of Fluff's favorite things. Fluff taught us this trick years ago. He used a pink shrimp fireball for scent with a night crawler. And Big Mike is just sitting here with that. And you can see he's feeling, he's waiting for a bite. He's just feeling for one, holding his line. You can see that St. Croix rod right there. Hey, little Mikey, that's Big Mike's son. We're not gonna tell you, but we're using your rod. You probably don't even know it's gone. But that's all we're doing. You see this hole right here? It's a deep little hole. We can tell that because in the shallow part, you can see it. There you go. Pink shrimp fireball and a night crawler. Now, he's drifting that along the bottom. Everybody knows trout like shrimp. They like garlic, they like shrimp, they like anise. Top three things for trout. Some people will throw vanilla and cheese, things like that in there. Hey, they all work. Now, Big Mike's just trying to bounce that worm off the bottom. And because this water is dirty, use that scent to try to bring them in. And we're gonna see if it works here. Now, we do know that this is one of the systems that they stock tiger trout in. And we're hoping that worms are known to eat, or sorry, tigers are known to eat worms. We're hoping that uh, we're able to lure in a tiger to, to eat. All right, what is that, Big Mike? Tell you the truth, it looked like a little tiger. If it's a little tiger, that would be your first tiger. Never, I'm, I'm not sure, but that's what it looked like. That is a, it's either a brook trout. That's a tiger. Yep. I think it's a, no, it's a brown. Is it? Is it a well, brown? we've seen brook tiger and brown on this same cast. I think it's a brown. It is a brown. That is a brown. Boom. Oh, you know what? That's a pretty brown, too. Got him. Oh, that's an, I think that's a tiger. If it's a tiger, that'd be your first tiger. This year. I that think that's a brook trout, trout, dude. Use your net, though. Use that. Whatever that is, it's a nice looking fish, Pat. Yeah, it is. Good deal. Got some fight. Oh. Oh, yeah. Another, is that a brown or a tiger? Brown. Two browns for Big Mike. That's what we need. Chips and dip. Were you drifting fire bait? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh my gosh. Big Mike has got another big fish. As soon as he switched over to peach garlic fire bait, I thought I was snagged. Yeah, that looks like that's a big brook trout, but I can't tell from here. That's a brook trout, right? That is a brook trout. Woo. Pat, you're doing a good job. Just stay right there. Chips and dip, baby. Chips and dip. <laughs> that's right. Chips and dip. <laughs> Pat brought the chips and dip. <laughs> Mike catches the fish. That is a really nice brook hey. trout. All right. Look at this nice, beautiful brook trout. Two in a row on peach garlic. You can't beat it. Look at the colors, the dots. I mean, it's a beautiful fish. Peach Did you switch to peach too? I switched to peach. Big Mike can't even release his. I don't even know what I got yet. You got a, what appears to be a brook trout. I can tell by its tail, unless it's a brown or a tiger. It is a, not a brook trout. And look at that fish just jumped out there. He just... Got a got double. <laughs> got a brook and a brown. Brook and a brown, Hello. baby. Meet each other, guys. Big fish, Pat. Big fish. Pat, he's don't way. tighten your drag up. I'm not. He's taking it. Where you at? He's way the hell down there. He's still running. Pat, you're going to have to chase him. I don't know how many. <sighs> oh my gosh. That is a big fish, Pat. It should be getting right there in front of you. All right, watch, over, watch that tree, Pat. You're going to have to get down there. I'm going. He's tangled on something. 
Oh my gosh, that's a big fish. Oh, He's in the Holy net. nice rainbow. Look at the size <laughs> of this. Look at this rainbow. A little rainbow fire bait. Got the job done today here in Willing, West Virginia. Another brown. Nice brown. Look at this. I think it's a brown. Biggest one so far, if it is. It's hard fight. It's a tiger. Oh, tiger. It's Ooh. a tiger. Finally got a tiger. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Just bring it in there, guys. Big net, Pat. Big net. Got it. Ooh. Look at that beautiful tiger trout. It's the first one I ever caught. We don't have these in PA, but I wish we did. They are beautiful. You got him? Yeah. I knew you were going to catch one. I need a net. Where's your net, Pat? <laughs> oh no, we finally got our fifth species of the day on a darn spinner. But With guess fire what? Gel, as baby. long as he needs a fire gel, it's legit. <laughs> Careful, you, you know, he's gonna come off this. Yeah, you gotta be, he's, he's death rolling you. Oh, we're waiting for a net, folks. Uh, there it is. There it is. Folks, number five. That is the fifth species of the day. I never thought we were gonna do this, but you know, hello. <laughs> See the spinner right there. So Pat says, come on, man, can I use a spinner? I said, Pat, and it's not like I'm his dad or anything, but we're filming Potsky Outdoors, so we wanna use our stuff. You know, two years ago, we couldn't really use spinners. We didn't have anything for them. Now that we have fire gel, Pat uses it every day. I know that because if you smell his fingers, and I wouldn't recommend it, they've been in a lot of different places, but I can come, he, as soon as he walks by, you can smell the garlic. That garlic is so strong that in this dirty water right here, that golden rainbow not only felt the vibration, he smelled it and he came over and whacked it. Pat's gonna show them to you right here. Uh, uh, uh. Let's check that baby out. Ooh. It there works, is. girls and boys, it there works. Is. Got him. You know, of all the times we've been to West Virginia, we have never tried to get the West Virginia Grand Slam. And by that we mean, catching a brown, a brook, a rainbow, a tiger, and a golden all in the same creek. You know, we've caught three or four of those species, but there's always been one missing, and usually it's the tiger trout, simply because it's only been till the last couple of years that the state has been stocking them late in the season like they have with the new tiger trail. Now, today was not the ideal day to try to accomplish this feat. Now, this is Wheeling Creek, and we knew that all five species have been stocked in this creek this year. So we were gonna go and work our way through and locate goldens and then just try to catch other species. Well, that plan did not work out. Reason being, you guys can see the water here just like we can, you can't see anything. Visibility is less than a foot, probably a little bit less than that, and we couldn't find goldens. Matter of fact, it was way up from a recent rain. When we got there, we had one choice only, and that was to locate an area of soft water that we believed to be a pool that would hold trout. And the guys just posted themselves up right on the bank. They grabbed some chips, grabbed some dip, and they started drifting. Now, we did end up with the trout challenge. It did take us probably five hours, uh, and it was an odd day. By odd, I mean all of the brown trout we caught came on peach garlic fire bait. Very odd. Normally, you don't catch browns on dough bait. Hey, sure, you can catch browns on dough bait, but there's other things that they tend to bite more readily than that. So the guys had to use five different baits today to be successful. And that's not us trying to sell you our product. Hey, if you come to this place on your own, bring your favorite five baits, whatever they are, and try them. Because sometimes when the water is off colored like this, it's what you need to do. You know, you saw us use plenty of peach garlic today. The guys used plenty of orange deluxe salmon eggs today. You saw Pat use a spinner with garlic fire gel on it. And of course, Big Mike took a page out of Fluff's play playbook and he used a night crawler with a single pink shrimp fireball on it. Guys, we don't know why it works. All we know is it works. We thought Fluff was crazy five years ago when he showed it to us. And guess what? It's worked ever since. You know, a lot of it may just be confidence thing. Speaking of confidence, Pat used his favorite peach fire egg. For some reason, 
it's like magic. Whenever he uses it, there's no rhyme or reason. He just throws it out there and somehow Pat catches a fish. That just shows you that, you know what, the state of West Virginia does a phenomenal job stocking multiple species of trout. And I tell you guys this every time, you don't know how lucky you have it. And I'm going to use the word you over and over again, which isn't great in journalism, but we're fortunate to have been to almost every state in the United States that stocks trout. Nowhere do you see the multitude of different species, at least in public water, as you do here in West Virginia. I know a lot of guys complain about the stocking program here. Not big enough fish, not enough fish, not enough stocking. Guys, you have no idea how good you have it. Come to these other states with us where we're excited to catch a 10 or 11 inch trout and they only stock rainbows. You have it great here. And we had a great time catching five species of trout without even shuffling our feet. What a feat to accomplish here in the great state of West Virginia on Wheeling Creek, only miles from the town of Wheeling. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're gonna show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.